what is up guys my name is commenting and today i am here to show you guys everything about skill sets what they are why they're useful and hopefully you will come out of this video knowing exactly what skill set you want to choose now of course if you guys do want to navigate to the skill sets at the main menu click on survivors and then character underneath private name you will see skill sets with a whole lot of options these are basically jobs before the apocalypse. You can pick the job that basically you did. Civilian is nothing. So if you pick civilian, it's basically like you have no skill set. Basically, it's like you were homeless and you had no job. Each one does a special thing. If you go on a single player server, I'm usually spec ops. If you saw some of my other videos, you'll see if I go into my inventory, I'll have spec ops top and spec ops bottom. That's because I'm the spec ops skill set. So that's what I spawn with in single player. You can actually do this on your own server. I know there's a command. Google is your friend. Just Google it. There's a command you can put in the commands.dat file of your server and you can make it where if you're the farmer skill set, you spawn with a farmer top and farmer bottom. If you're a fisher skill set, you spawn at the fisherman top and fisherman bottom and a fisher pool or something. Farmer, it looks like they get a shovel. Worker, they get a camp axe. Thief, they just get thief top, thief bottom. I think it's a katana. I don't exactly know what you all come with. But the name of the skill set, it gives you your respective clothing. Also, it has specific skills to it. I was going to make a whole video on experience. But there's no point to do that as it says exactly what it does. Overkill, punch and melee with greater force plus 7% punch. It tells you what each skill set does, so I'm not going to really make an in-depth guide of this. But each skill set has their specific skill specialty. Now, I'm not going to go over every single one, but you'll see a table on the screen now of every single skill set and what their special skill actually is. Almost every single skill set has two, except for worker has three. That's why a worker is a pretty good choice, because you have three skills that don't reset. If you guys are wondering what the special skills actually do, let's start with Spec Ops because that's what I'm usually in. The special skills for Spec Ops is Dexterity and Sharpshooter. Dexterity makes you reload faster, Sharpshooter has less recoil. What that does is it cuts the experience cost in half for those two skills. Also makes it where if you die, you do not lose those skills. That's why in my single player server, once again, if you go to my skills, you will see that it's always green because I filled it out before and when I kill myself, it never goes away because this is my skill set, Spec Ops. If I were to do Thief as my skill set, Sneaky Beaky and Parkour, Parkour where you jump high, Sneaky Beaky where no one can really hear your footsteps, those two will have less of an experience cost and will never go away if I were to die. But my Spec Ops skill set would be gone, so those two skills would be gone. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Once again, the table's on the screen right now. You guys can screenshot your phone or computer, whatever you're on. Use that table that I just put on to figure out what you want your skill set to be. In my opinion, what I think the best skill sets are is probably Spec Ops or either even Firefighter and Police Officer is good because I like that extra sprint and cardio, which Police Officer has sprint, Firefighter has cardio. Also, Thief is good just because you get the Thief top and bottom, but I mean, that doesn't really matter on multiplayer. But Sneaky, Beaky, and Parkour, I love that. And also, Worker, like I said, you have those three things and you'll have unlimited crafting. Basically, you level up crafting, it'll never go away. That's always great. Also, if you're in like a group of five, make sure everyone has like a different skill set. That's always useful. So one person has to be a Worker. One person can be a doctor, so they can be the support person. One person can be the chef, so they can be the one who cooks the food. And then everyone in your team actually does something. It makes a better tight-knitted community within your clan. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Gun vs. Gun, coming tomorrow. Look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, I know this was a little short video on just like a small little guide thing. If you guys have some question about Unturned that you want to just me make the little video of it, I will be more than glad to make a video. Just comment it down below. And nine times out of ten, I will probably take that decision and use it for a video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Comedy, and I'm out of here. See you guys later. Welcome to the country crowd. We got the hamburger, we got the down. We got the special salt nigga that's here. We done fuck with plank and making it clear.